here I am in 1983. I remember it was the Queen's birthday. I used to love the Queen. I still do anyway. All the royalty for me, for French. I mean, it's something unique. Anyway, and Kevin Keegan too, I used to love. <laughs> Therefore, even so at that time, a one-way ticket ferry was the same price as one way. Here I am in Calais, crossing with one box with knives, a small bag of nothing, and some uh, gitans. Because I used to smoke. That's the worst thing I've done is to smoke, by the way, in my life. That's it. That's the only thing I regret. Anyway, here I am. It's a long queue. We're on a tarmac. It's not like now. And then there's a French gendarme. He's probably four days from retirement. You can't see his eyes. He's got a kepi, which is the size of a... And he's about to say, next. OK, I'm looking at him. I can't see his eyes. I like watching the... I, I, you know, it's important to check hands, people, and also looking the eyes. Eyes is what I give you, you know, the DNA of people. Anyway. And he's saying, what are you doing? What is in the box? Hello, good morning, hello, nice day today, yeah, how are you? Anyway, I'm a young kid, I'm 22, whatever, and I'm dying to live. I want to get there. I want to see the white cliff. I'm saying, I've got knives. <laughs> knives? What are you doing with knives? You work in a circus? He's <laughs> having a laugh, I'm working, look at me. <laughs> what do you mean, I'm working in a circus? Therefore, obviously, I can't be too cocky, because he might say, go, go back in the queue. And I'm just about to say, funny enough, I'm just about to start a chef job down in a, in a new forest. And he's looking at his eyes. He lost his little mego, which is a small cigarette, which had been there for one week. <laughs> and he's about to call, Marcel, come here. That boy there is going to go to England to learn to cook. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I have to be honest with you, when I first get my, got my Michelin star, I have never even expected to have it. I said it was a joke. And as, the day after, I was bored of Michelin Serrano. My biggest pleasure was to have a busy restaurant and to see people enjoying themselves and the staff. And it goes back to, we met, maybe we didn't have so much money at home, even so it didn't make any difference, but I had the most amazing parents who taught me how to be passionate. They didn't even taught me, they gave me that instantly. Same for my brother sisters. To learn how to respect, to be fair, having discipline, you know, enjoying life. And, and, and that was for me, you know. I hope I'm not sitting here in the front of you because with nothing I made a lot of money. That's completely ridiculous. What is important is I've never changed. I'm 54 now. In fact, this month is going to be 40 years I've been working. And you know what? If I would have worked from the age of two or one year old, I would have done so because it's been, it kept me busy. It kept me meeting a lot of people. You know, what is scary is I have been for 30, 33 years now in this country. I look back, what scared me the most is it's been so quick. I meet people who are now my age. Obviously, I haven't spoke or met for 20 years or so. And it scared me that we are obviously moving on. And, uh, and um, <coughs> I'm very fortunate I have a, a wonderful lady, beautiful kids. I love cooking the same way. I've traveled around the world, you know. Therefore, yes, thank you to Michelin, but Michelin is not everything. <laughs> <laughs>